वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर गीता सजेवा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एन आई टी कुक्षेत्र द टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक टूडे इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लाइमेट अंडर दिस चैप्टर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट अंडर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन देन डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन क्लाइमेट एंड कल्चर क्लाइमेट फॉर्मेशन नेचर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लाइमेट फीचर्स ऑफ गुड क्लाइमेट एंड बैड क्लाइमेट फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लाइमेट डायमेंशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लाइमेट वाई वी नीड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लाइमेट एंड हाउ टू डेवलप साउंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लाइमेट सो आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस मड्यूल स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्सेप्ट मीनिंग ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लाइमेट they will understand the difference between climate and culture they will come to know the factors dimensions importance of organizing climate and how to develop a sound organization climate so i start with the introductory part but before knowing the meaning of organization climate firstly understand the idea of climate climate in usual sense is stated as the consistent course or condition of the weather at a place over a time as exhibited by the temperature velocity rainfall and wind the notion of the organization climate was originally adapted by the human religionist in the late 1940s today it has become an actual treasured metaphor for clarifying the social system it is also described as a situational determinants or environmental determinants which shake the human behavior basically organization climate replicates a human's perception of the society to which he belongs it is a set of selected features and structure that are recognized by the employees about their organizations which works as an important force in manipulating their behavior hence organization climate in a wide sense can be expected as the social setting of the organization climate of the organization is similar to the personality of a person like as each person has a personality that marks him special and varied from other person each organization has an organization climate that clearly distinguishes it from the other organization now there are some definitions of organization climate first definition according to the forehand and glimmer he says that the climate and compasses of a set of characteristics that define an organization differentiate it from other organizations are comparatively lasting over time and influence the behavior of people into it next author campbell says that organization climate can be demarcated as a set of attributes specific to a organization that may be induced from the mode that the organization deal with its member and environment for the individual members within the organization climate takes the form of a set of attributes and experiences which label the organization in terms of both static characteristics and behavior outcome and outcome outcome possibilities next author Solcom 1974 stated that organization climate is a set of attributes which can be perceived about a particular organization or its subsystem and they may be induced from the way the organization or its subsystem deal with the members and the environment some more definitions of organization climate are though most of the author have used it is an expressive concept other have used it for categorizing organizations into classes for example burns and stoker 1961 explain organic versus mechanical climate while leeker 1967 proposes four type of climates these are explorative benevolent consultative and participative such structures usually practice defined categories only one frame suggested by litwin and stringer emphasizes the consequence of organizing climate on the motivation of its fellows organizing climate can be described as employees shared perception 
or experiences of the policies, practices and process of their workplace and the behaviors that get rewarded, supported and predictable. Climate happens at the group or organization level of analysis. While the perception exists in individuals, they state as to share contextual phenomena such as organization routines and measured in the collective, they specify group or organization phenomena. The worth of the concept has been due in part to its capability to capture the human experience in the organization how organizations appear and feel to its members and also to the fact that such shared perceptions are found to be associated to significant unit outcomes mainly when climate is operationalized in terms of strategic goal of the organization. Organization climate research has its origin in Levin, Lippert and White's idea that leaders by their behavior produce characteristics pattern of behavior and attitude on the part of followers. Henceforth, we can say that the organization climate is a somewhat an ongoing quality of the interior environment that is shared by its member, influences their deeds and can be considered in terms of the value of a specific set of features of the organization. It may be possible to have numerous climates as there are person in the organization when measured jointly. The activities of the person become more significant for observing the whole influence upon the climate and defining the stability of the work environment. The climate should be observed from a whole system viewpoint. Though there may be differences in climate inside departments, these will be integrated to a definite degree to signify overall organization climate. Next one is distinction between culture and climate. Some people have used organization culture and organization climate interchangeably. But there are some elementary differences between these two terms. First one is according to Bovich and Buno, organization culture is associated with the nature of beliefs and expectations about organization life. Though climate is an indicator of whether these beliefs and expectations are being fulfilled. Next one is Trees and Bear 1993. They described culture in terms of what it is not. It is not climate that is measured with researcher based data. While culture is measured by strong data collection of amic nature. Reflecting the concerns of both Schwender 90 and Glick 1988. He described numerous varied variables have been involved under the climate notion by several researchers that it covers with most concepts in organizational behavior as well as with structure, technology, formalization and effectiveness. According to Dennison 1996, he took what he deliberated to be more debatable opinion in disseminating that it is not sure culture and climate are distinct organizational aspects. Culture researchers were more concerned with the development of social system over the period of a time, whereas climate researchers were mainly less concerned with development but more apprehensive with effect that organization system have on groups and individuals. Culture researchers debated for the importance of deep indispensable expectations. Climate researcher indifference usually placed larger emphasis on organizational member perception of obvious practice and techniques that are closer to the surface of organization life and classification of these practices and perception into logical dimensions explained by the researcher. Next one is nature of organizational climate. The nature of organizational climate, first one is journal perception. Organization climate is usually a manifestation of what the organization is. It is a summary of perception which people carry about the organization. It carries the impression that individuals have of the organization in one internal environment within which they work. Second nature is abstract and intangible concept. Organization climate is a qualitative concept. It is very hard to explain the mechanism of organization climate in measurable or quantifiable units. Next one is unique and distinct identity. Organization climate provides a distinct uniqueness to the organization. 
it clarifies how one organization is dissimilar from the other organizations next nature is durable quality organization climate build up over a period of a time it specify a comparatively continuing quality of the inside environment that is shared by the organizational members next one is multi dimensional concept organization climate is a multi dimensional notion numerous aspect of the organization climates are distinct autonomy degree of conflict and cooperation authority structure leadership style pattern of communication etc now what is good climate and bad climate as we know that ki climate is valuable to understand and measure because there are organizational and human benefits of good climate and dominant disadvantages of bad climate good climate has been linked to appropriate results such as job satisfaction confidence in management effective commitment intention to quit emotional exhaustion faith in organization and performance whereas bad climate has been connected to turnover stress sickness poor performance error rate wastage accidents now comes factors affecting organization climate lawrence james and allen johns 1974 they have classified the factors affecting climate and they group these factors under five heads first head is organizational context the first and main significant factor that affect climate is the management attitude if the organization is dedicated to such a policy that it can effectively uses it resources both human as well as non human then it can be established that the climate is good next factor is organizational structure structure of the organization is another variable that affects climate it needs no relationship and describe authority and the functional responsibility next factor is process in all organization there are certain procedures that are lively so that it runs communication decision making motivation and leadership are some of the very imperative procedure though which the management carries out fit purposes next factor is physical environment the external conditions of environment the size and the location of the building in which an employee works the size of city weather or the place all interrupt the organization climate next one is system values and norms every organization has apparent and justly tangible formal value system where definite classes of behaviors are remunerated and encouraged and certain type of behavior forces an individual to proper sanctions the former value system is communicated to employ through rules regulation and policies so these are some of the factors affecting organization climate now dimensions of organization climate see people in the organization encounter thousands of happenings practices and procedure they identify these events in their related sets henceforth as suggested by the righteous 1983 work settings have several climates and these climates are for service safety as climate for attainment as climate is a multi dimensional concept one should view organizational climate not as it but as a set of its individuality with specific referent what are the dimensions of organizational climate it is certainly astonishing those two decades of substantial research effort there is yet no clearance about shared set of dimensions of organized climate it is hard to ponder any one set has a typical all can be categorized into three broad groups as given by goyal rp these are leadership function structural properties and employee satisfaction first dimension that was leadership function is proper actions of the administrators that are projected to inspire employees comprising formal system of reward punishment incentive pay plans communication programs the quality of leadership provided by the top management and the subsequent supervision implemented by the middle and lower levels of the manager hierarchy etc second dimension was structural properties under this feature of the whole organization or sub organizational units in terms of size span of management 
degree of decentralization, line staff structure, number of levels in the organization hierarchy and the shape of organization etc. Next one is employee satisfaction. Attitudes, mood of the fellow employees, job experience, organization etc. are justly comprehensive. A few researchers have taken all classes in reviewing organization climate. Among us, those who have done so have studied each and every part incorporated under three heads. In practice, therefore, various writers have used different amalgations and permutations with the outcome that everybody has ended up studying the organization climate somewhat inversely from others. In the absence of a settled upon list of dimensions of organization climate, researchers in this field have acted in a pretty much ad hoc manner. Maybe it is also due to absence of definite organizational theory that expresses which dimension of the organization climate affect organizational behavior. Numerous authors have recommended various dimensions of various organization climate. Some of these are according to Leaker 1967, he explained leadership, motivation, communication, decisions, goals and control. According to Litwin and Stringer, he explained about conformity, responsibility, standard rewards, organization clarity, warmth and support and leadership. According to Parksman 1979, he explained about conformity, shared in decision making, supervision, task orientation, people orientation, bureaucratic orientation, responsibility, reward, financial as well as non-financial both, promotion, team spirit and standard. According to Sharma 1988, he has stressed numerous dimensions as supervisory management relations, scope for advancement, grievance handling, monetary benefits, participative management, objectivity and rationality, recognition and apprehension, safety, security, training, education, welfare, facilities, etc. According to Bartlett 1968, they projected four organization climate dimensions. First is individual autonomy centered on the factors of individual responsibility, agent independence, rules orientations and opportunities for exercising individual initiative. Second is degree of structure imposed upon the position based on the factors of structure, managerial structure and the closeness of supervision. Next one is reward orientation. Based upon the factors of reward, general satisfaction, promotional achievement orientation and being profit minded and sales oriented. And fourth one is consideration, warmth and support. Based upon the factors of management support, nurturing of subordinates and warmth and sports. Next dimensions have been given by Krakower 1991. They stated that there are seven dimensions of climate. In that way, they created four diverse climate types which they labeled number one, group climate, number two, developmental climate, number three, rational goal climate, number four, internal process climate. They also measured climate expanding into the following dimension. First was trust. An organization has a great level of trust when the person are exposed, sharing and honest where individuals show their confidence. An organization has a trivial level of trust when the individuals are close, secured, hard-hearted, deceitful and creates an atmosphere of anxiety and weakness. Second was conflict. An organization has a great level of conflict when there is a high level of divergence of forces, goals and thoughts, which are experienced in friction and dissimilarities among us the individuals. An organization has a little level of conflict when there is a concurrence in objectives, beliefs, which yields a spirit of teamwork among us and individual. Next one is morale. An organization has a high degree of employee morale when the individuals are self-assured and obsessive about the organization and esprit de corps. An organization has a low degree of employee morale when the individual lacks self-confidence and keenness about the organization and individual lack a sense of drive and assurance about the future. Next one is reward. An organization is said to be neutral in reward when employees take reward as fair and just lacking bias for feverish. An organization is considered to be partial in its rewards when individuals see amorism, biasness and non-work related standards 
as a base for rewards. Next one is resistance to change. An organization has a high confrontation to change where individual trust the inertia is great and believe that we will do things tomorrow as we did them today. An organization has a low level of confrontation to change where individuals take change as a user context and enjoy that tomorrow will be dissimilar. Next one is leader credibility. The leader credibility or reliability is high when individuals have self-reliance on its leadership. There is a sense of appreciation, motivation and welcome of decisions and actions. The leader trustworthiness is low when individuals lack appreciation and do not admit the validity of authority. Next one is scapegoating. An organization has a high level of condemning when individual trust the answerability of for actions will be moved to others, top management, staff, employees or outcast. An organization has a low level of scapegoating when individual trust that accountable individuals accept the responsibility for the failure of actions. Now why we need organization climate? What is the importance of organization climate? The organization climate can move the human behavior in the organization through an influence on their performance, satisfaction and attitudes. There are four mechanisms by which climate affect the behavior of employee. Number one is constraint system. It can act as a restraint system in both the positive and negative sense. It can be finished by providing the information to employees about what type of conduct will be remunerated, punished or mistreated. Therefore, behavior can be influenced by varying degrees of rewards and punishment. Second one is evaluation of self and others. Organizational variables may affect behavior through assessment of self and others. In this procedure, both the physiological and psychological variables will be linked. Such evaluation will influence the human behavior. Next one is by acting as a stimuli. Organizational factors can affect human behavior acting as a stimuli and stimuli they affect individual stimulation level which is motivational variable guiding human behavior. The level of arousal will straight influence the level of activation and hence performance. Next one is by helping the individual to form a perception. Organizational factors affect the behavior by assisting the individual in creating a perception of the organization. The perception then affects the behavior. Therefore, we can say that ki good organization climate is useful to improve employee satisfaction, better human relation and higher productivity. Next one is how to develop a sound organization climate developing a sound organization climate. To build up a thorough organization climate is a long run scheme. Organization climate trust upon organizational behavior. There are some techniques which may be helpful for developing a sound organization climate. First one is effective communication system. There should be two way communications in the organization so that employees recognize what is going on and answer to it. Second one is apprehension for people. The management should be involved in the human resource development. It should try for happiness of employees and the improvement in their working conditions. Next one is participative decision making. The management should involve the employees in decision making process, mostly those decisions which are related with goal setting and have an effect on them. Next one is change in policies, procedures and rules. The organization climate can also be transformed by creating changes in policies, procedures and rules. Next one is technological changes. Generally, the workers and employee resist any creative changes. But where technological changes improves the working condition of employees, the changes will simply be recognized. Better climate will be there if the management accepts inventive changes in discussion with employees. In this chapter of organization climate, we have come to know that organization climate has a greater significant influence in human performance through its effect on individual motivation and job satisfaction. It performs this by permitting certain kind of expectations about what consequences will track from different actions. 
individual in the organization have certain viewpoints and execution of these viewpoints lie on their perception as to how the organization climate outfits to the contentment of their prerequisites. These organization climate provide a kind of working environment in which employee feel gratified or displeased. Since satisfaction of employee drives an extensive way in modeling this ability, organizational climate can also be supposed that it is directly associated with his performance in the organization. There are four aspects through which organizational climate affect performance, satisfaction and attitude of employee in the organization. Khan et al. 1951 have recognized five features which affect individual performance in organization. There are procedure orientations, nurturance of assistants, supervision diversity and promotion attainment orientation. Numerous administrators comprehend that the richest possessions and the hardest difficulties of an organization are its people. People give business with its largest strength at the same time want management to do its greatest creative thinking. In an organization, each section or work group might have special climate. The atmosphere of one, for example, is anxious sense of existence of a demanding boss or a lot of restless employees. In another place, the pervading atmosphere is contented or greeting since the boss is passionately ripe leader and the employees are serene and cooperative. The organizing climate in industry is so important that everybody should be vigilant of its consequences. Although intangible, organization climate is a real occurrence. In each organization, there occur elements that work out the profound influence on the prevalent climate. In some organizations, certain aspects like structure or process plays a key role, whereas in other level of technology might be foremost influential aspect in climate. Climate can influence motivation, performance, job satisfaction, quality of work life. It performs this by producing definite type of expectations about what consequences will follow from different actions. People presume a certain reward and satisfactions on the basis of their perception of the organization climate. These expectations incline to lead to an organization climate. A sound climate is a long run intention. In this chapter, there are many significant points which might be considered like organization climate determines the work environment, organization climate can affect the human behavior, organization climate is an enduring quality. There is a difference between organization culture and organization climate and sound climate can be developed in the organizations. Thank you.